classic satin is going to be this one right here. Pretty much once you click on it, the way that you're going to lay it out is in a ladder motion. So one point to the left, one point to the right, and then you keep going from there. And then here we go. Now in this case, it shouldn't look this way because if you exceed the width of 0.79, this is how it will show up. So let me make it a bit smaller so it looks normal. And then here we go. Now, same thing in regards to the run stitch, you have the opportunity to curve your classic satin. You'll just do the same movements, but in this case, you would hold the control button. So, lay out from left to right in a ladder motion. And here it is. This is how you will curve it. Now, as I mentioned, it kind of came out weird first because of the width. It is very important that when you're using your classic satin that you do not exceed the width of 0.79. If I were to redo it again, of course, exceeding the width, it'll show up like this. Now, we're currently in a realistic view, so it initially should not look like this. If I were to turn it off, that is how it will look like. Now, in order to fix it, you can either use your select tool to kind of make it smaller. And also, if you're not too sure as well, you can always use your ruler to measure it. So it's more or less 0.90 something. We need to make it smaller. And then now it's back to normal. So either do that or simply just create a new classic satin.